Jen here with a Shelf Love unboxing for you. Um, this is my second of the Shelf Love uh, boxes. I have ordered Shelf Love crate before, um, but I ordered this one because I think I had a coupon um, because the October box had been sent late. And this was a NaNoWriMo themed box. And if you look around on my channel, you can see a bunch of videos from the different years I've done NaNoWriMo, even though I don't do writing videos anymore. Um, so the theme for this month was write your own reads. And let's go through because I haven't even opened this yet. I just cut the tape. So the first thing I see is a ceramic cup. Um, it says love is the beauty of soul. And this was created by, I think I'm getting old, I can't even read, Kitster Crunk for this adorable and cheeky mug design. So, oh, it's a cute shape too. It's not like a normal shaped mug. It says, tears, <laughs> tears of my readers. Um, if you know the writing it's saying kill your lovelies or kill your darlings that's kind of what that makes me think of for some reason so oh and it's really cold because it was sitting on my front porch and it's like 35 degrees outside here um let's see what else is in here this looks interesting this says best seller blend chocolate raspberry flavored coffee this is by lim basics make sure I'm not missing anything oh it says it's love you more studio which I know I've gotten something from love you more studio before and I just oh it smells good can't remember off the top of my head what it was it's probably from a shelf love reads box or maybe a different box um although I haven't really been buying boxes lately uh this is the wonderful wizard of words it looks like it's a notebook oh it's a sticky notes these are some really cute sticky notes, that's for sure. Let's open this up. Um, let me see if it says this thing. It just says that it's for all you plotters out there, and the design is by Navarin Tail. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Say it. I have ordered from her before um, because she does different prints and bookmarks and things like that and stickers. So I have some of her darkling stuff. Oh, very cute. So this is the cover. This makes more sense. And then these are some of the sticky notes. Write drunk, edit sober. The road to hell is paved with adverbs. If you wish to be a writer, write. Those are some cute post-it notes. I personally like these ones. My dog is barking like a crazy woman. Oh, this looks cute too. What is this? I think this is a pillow case pillowcase if you can't hear me over the crunching sound. That's the only downside to doing it live is opening things. This is really cute. Ooh, and it's really silky. That's kind of cool. I dig that. I like that. That's cool. Let's see, is it by anyone in particular? It doesn't say that it's by anyone in particular, but it's really silky feeling. Toss these on the floor. Um, I think there's another item I'm missing, so there's a book, but a quill pen is in here as well. I think this is what I'm trying to grab, but I keep missing it. It says, from me to you, words of writing wisdom from some of your favorite YA authors. So this is, I think, put together by Shelf Love. And it's an exclusive collection of letters from prominent YA and adult authors with writing advice for the subscribers. You may recognize several authors from previous Shelf Love Crate and Shelf Love Reads boxes. Um, so it's like a little pamphlet created by Shelf Love. I didn't even realize it was purple. The lighting in here, like the, the lighting from the studio light, when I looked down, I thought this was black. So that's how much it like skews color. It's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to flip through and just share some of the authors with you. Cindy Anstey from Duels and Deception I actually have, or I think I have Love, Lies, and Spies. Uh, Tanaz Bathina, I'm not sure of her books, although the Bollywood one looks familiar. Erin Bowman, I have a couple of her books even though I haven't read them. Uh, Alexandra Christo, who wrote To Kill a Kingdom. Um, oh, I'm wrong. These are their recommended reads, so she didn't write the Bollywood book and she didn't Okay. Oh, well, some of them are by them and some of them are recommended reading the way, I guess, it's set up like this. 
Thus my confusion is I thought the sidebar was their books, but it's a combination of their books, but also their recommended reading. Susan Dennard, Brenda Drake. Um, actually, I don't know too many of these authors. Actually, I know a lot of the books in their recommended readings <laughs> that they're recommending. So that's kind of funny. Uh, anybody else that... Nope, nobody's really jumping out. Maybe a lot of them are debut authors, and that's why they're jumping out. But yeah, so that's kind of a fun idea, though. Um, and last but not least, I have no idea why she is, like, carrying on. She seriously, like, sleeps all day, I'm pretty sure, while I'm at work. So I think this is all just for show because I'm home, and that's why she's barking a ton. Um, an Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason, which this looks super cute, and I thought it was a sequel to a, something, but it must not be if it's in here. So this is by Virginia Boker, I'm going to say. Um, the light letter is really long, and she kind of talks a little bit. It looks like about cancer or plotter. Some books you might like if you like it. This one is The Love Lies and Spies, which I actually have. Uh, Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. I have some of her books, but I haven't read them. My Lady Jane, which I loved, and The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which for some reason I thought this was like related to that, but I don't necessarily think it is. Um, but the letter is super long, so I'm not going to read it this time because I want to keep this video short because I just got home from work not very long ago. Um, they also have the December theme is Resolution Reads. Um, and just so you know, Shelf Love Reads is kind of more, um, they don't really fit into one genre, whereas Shelf Love Crate is kind of more sci-fi fantasy. Uh, Shelf Love Reads can have, like, magical realism, it can have contemporary fiction, and they kind of, like, change it up a little bit. But I am curious about the synopsis of this book, so I will share that with you. On the back it says, I know you've come here to kill the queen. I know your name is Catherine Arundel. I know that your father was part of a plot against the queen and that you took his place. Do you deny it? This actually already sounds like a really fun read. So treason lies and love in disguise. When Lady Catherine's father is killed for being a, an illegally practicing Catholic, she discovers treason wasn't the only secret he'd been hiding. He was also involved in a murder plot against the reigning Queen Elizabeth I. With nothing left to lose, Catherine disguises herself as a boy and travels to London to fulfill her father's mission and to take it one step further. She'll kill the Queen herself. Catherine's opportunity comes in the form of William Shakespeare's newest play, which is to be performed in front of Her Majesty. But what she doesn't know is that the play is not just a play, it's a plot to root out insurrectionists and destroy the rebellion once and for all. The mastermind behind this ruse is Toby Ellis, a young spy for the Queen with secrets of his own. When Toby and Catherine are cast opposite each other as the play's lead, they find themselves inexplicably, inexplicably drawn to each other. But the closer they grow, the more precarious their positions become, and soon they learn that star-crossed love, mistaken identity, and betrayal are far more dangerous off the stage than on. What a cute, I really like that premise. It sounds so fun. Uh, let's read a little bit about the author because I don't think I've ever heard of her before. Uh, she's the author of the Witch Hunter series. So actually probably would like that because I love things about witches. But off the top of my head, I, I'm very visual, if not like name based. So maybe I'd recognize the covers. Um, and this book, she's a graduate of the University of Texas, a decade long career in technology before claiming to become a full time writer. Uh, she likes running, reading, traveling, and trying new things, most recently learning to drive a boat. Uh, she's lived all over the world, but currently lives in Oregon with her husband, children, and a dog called George, and a cat named Thomas. So, I think you can find her through the publisher's website, because it says lbyr.com, which the publisher is Little Brown. Um, so yeah, that sounds really fun. Uh, so... I really like this box. It was very cute. Like I said, um, because the October box was late, which is my first ever Shelf Love Reads box, the pink ones, um, I did have a coupon code that they gave to people who purchased that box because it had been delayed due to an item in customs. Um, this was the November Write Your Own Reads box. Uh, the October one you can find on here as well that was Falling Into Reads and that was a great box as well. I really love the Shelf Crate Reads, uh, Shelf Love Reads and Shelf Love Crate Boxes. Uh, I might be a little bit biased because I've been following their journey since they started, since their inception. Um, I was, my candle shop was in the demo boxes, my candle shop was also in uh, the first box that they ever did. 
And so Dania and I go way back to her beginnings and we often cross paths uh, on Instagram still. So it's been really cool to see her company grow. If you love supporting small businesses, if you love supporting small businesses run by women, then I should suggest, I was gonna say suggest, I suggest you check out Shelf Love Foods and then we all have a reading.